Hello everyone, welcome to Morality, your channel for React Native content, and today we are going to be going over the flat list component. So the flat list component is a component by React Native, and it's used to list out a list of data. So we'll go ahead and jump right into it. Alright, so we're going to create a flat list component over here in the left folder of components you might have to create another one or if you watch the last videos you could just add it to your last one the last project we worked on so we'll do flat list component .js. okay and we're going to type rfne and now we have our flat list component set up to where we could hook it up into our app.js. So we'll go over here, do flat list component, and then make that self closing. And now it's imported up at the top. So now we see flat list component because over here we have our text, comp text component rendering our text here. All right. <clears throat> So now we are going to replace this text component with a flat list component. So it's going to be flat list from React Native, and that's going to be self closing. So you're not going to see anything right now because there isn't any data. So what we have to do is create dummy data, and I'll put it in the description so you could copy and paste it into your code. But basically, what we'll do is go right above here and do const data equals an array and this array is going to have a set of objects and there's going to be three of these but we'll just add one and then copy it down so it's going to have an id so we can ext use the key extractor prop from flat list so it could tell the difference between each list component and what we're going to have is just an ID of one and then we're going to have a title and that's going to be let's just say first item and this is bugging out because there isn't a comma so this is our first object that we are going to render and you could just hold shift alt and the down arrow key and copy it multiple times and then we'll just change this you gotta change the id or else it's gonna um be the same component which we don't want that and then we'll change this to second and third okay so now that we have our dummy data we can go down into our flat list over here and there's a prop called data which we want to set to our variable up here data and now we are going to add a render item so this render item is going to like render each component how we like it to so what we'll do is go right above here, right below the flat list component const, and we're going to do const render item. And this is going to be an arrow, fun arrow function with destructured item. So we can pull each property of these objects up here. And then we're going to arrow function and curly braces. So now we're going to create a thing called item. And this it's going to be a component. So we're going to say, let's create it first. So let's go up here right below our dummy data and do const item equals destructured and we're going to have pull the title from up here and we're going to use this title 
to display the title onto the list. So it's going to be like three cards and it's going to have each title uh, listed onto it. So now what we're going to do is create a view. View. And a text component. Now, in this text component, we're going to give these each a style. So this is going to be style equals styles dot, not style sheet, styles. But it's going to want us to import style sheet, which we haven't done that yet. We'll do that right after this. We're going to call this one item. And then what we're going to do is just copy this, oh. copy this, and just paste it into here. And then we're going to change this to, um, we could change this to title. So these are the style names of which decoration we basically want it to have. So we're going to go down here. This can be like that. And so go down here and type in RNSS. That's basically React Native Style Sheet. And you're going to want to click after Style Sheet, hold Control Space, and click the second one. Or if it shows up as the first one, then do that one. And it's now imported at the top. So now what we could do is create item. And we're going to create title. So now that we have both of our uh, decorations, we're just going to add a third one called container so that we can have it for our main view so that flex and stuff like that. So it takes up the whole screen. Okay, so now in the container, we're going to have flex one and margin top it's going to be status bar basically what the status bar is is it's right this whole part right here right up until um it ends like past the notch right here and on android it's going to be the same thing right below all the like notification time and battery stuff so this is the whole status bar up here Basically, what we're going to do is give it a status bar. Um, we're going to take it right below the status bar. So we're going to get the current height of the status bar. We get the current height of the status bar and then bring it down. Or if uh, it's not in the status bar, then it's going to be zero. Okay, so now we're going to add one for item, and this is going to be background color, which is going to be like a, a light, a darker white. So it's going to be like a F1, 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 so that you could like differentiate it from white. Okay, now we're going to have a padding all around it of 20 and a margin vertical of eight. And then for title, we're going to have font size of 32. Okay, so now we can go and assign each one of these. Oh, wait, we already did. So now that they are assigned, each one of these has So now that they're assigned, we're going to add a title into here so that it pulls the title from here. And what we are going to do is in our render function, our render item function, we're going to add 
item here, make that self closing, and we're going to do title equals item dot title. So basically, what that just did was pulled the item from up here. So it's going through item, and item is taking destructuring the data and taking title here. And that's what the text is going to be rendered as, which is title. Okay. So now that that's done, we're going to add a key extractor. And this basically takes the ID and differentiates the different lists from each other, the different listed objects from each other. And then it's going to be item ID. Okay, so we have made a little mistake here. And the reason it's not showing up is because we put these curly braces here. And basically that's specifying that it is um, an object when we actually want it to return that. So now it'll have the render item. It'll return this. And then up here, this is also going to be the parentheses. So always make sure you're using, um, whenever you're trying to directly return something, you want to make it into parentheses, not curly braces, because then that makes it an object rather than a return statement. So keep that in mind. That usually happens a lot. Um, usually if you don't see these here, then you'll put like return here, but that's like without the braces. And if you have um, the curly braces, then it will return it. But uh, try to stay comfortable with um, the regular parentheses because you don't. A lot of people forget this return, and then they just they just have this, and they're trying to figure out what's going on. So make sure you put those parentheses. <laughs> okay, so now we have our flat list, and it looks great. We have our three items listed. You can go down here, change it to, I don't know, font size 24. And yeah, so it's going to be the end of the video, guys. I hope you liked it. Please like and subscribe. And we are going to be updating our schedule a bit, trying to do um, two videos a week. We'll be doing Friday and Monday. So stay in tune for that. And... If we're able to make more, then we'll probably do three videos a week. But right now it's going to be two. So thank you for watching and have a great day.